back to Cambridge Springs. Chuck stop Big Gear as we start the fourth period. 30-25, Cambridge Springs with the lead. Sagertown with the ball. Throw that ball high post. DiBartolo Mayo steps into the paint. Passes the ball off. Three seconds. Yes, indeed. She was in there. No doubt about that call. DiBartolo Mayo had that ball right inside the lane at the left high post. And she just standing there with it, standing. And then finally the whistle sounded. And they turn the ball over. Chance for Cambridge brings to capitalize and add to that 30-25 lead. Taylor Babs to Amanda Taylor. Back to Taylor Babs again. Over to Amanda. Five-point lead starting the fourth quarter for Cambridge Springs. Looking for this upset tonight. Taylor passed the ball off and blocked away. It was blocked away that time by Seipel. Ball ended up. to tie up and go to Sagertown. Taylor inbounds to Brianna, cuts to the free throw line, stops, jumps, shoots in and out. That was halfway down. Rebound, tie up. Possession goes to Sagertown. Wolfram on the tie up that time. With number 30. Caldwell for Sagertown. All the way up. Actually, dry put up traveling. Yes, indeed. Kind of obvious on that one. They turn the ball over again. Another golden opportunity to draw closer, and Sagertown fails to do it. Yep. They turn it over. Time's already in less than a minute. Taylor Babb brings the ball top side. Feeds the ball to Amanda Taylor. Dump the ball down to the low block, back out front again. Schmidt's got it down low. He had double teamed, and the ball's almost stolen. Yep, they're going to call another tie up this time. He belongs to Sagertown. I mean, Cambridge Springs. Taylor Babs will trigger it in. Taylor looking for Brianna. Gets it to her at the top of the key. Dribbles to the right wing. Hand the ball to Wolfram. And then she lost the handle on the ball. It's loose. The ball goes high in there. Batted up the court. And Taylor Babs comes down with it. At about three-quarter court and brings it all ahead. Over to Brianna. Stiple covers her up. Bounce the ball back out top of the key to Taylor. 2-3 zone by Sagertown. Amanda Taylor over to Brianna Babb to Taylor Babb. Brianna down low block to Wolfram back out front. Good defense put on now by Sagertown. And his ball's passed off. It's knocked away. And then a foul is called after the ball is stolen away by Sagertown. And up comes Sagertown trailing in this ball game. 30 to 25. Hanley, you know, DiBartolo Mayo just throws it up off the glass. No good. But the follow shot is up, and it is no good. And then finally the rebound, the foul is called as the second shot put up there by Codwell. Then on the rebound, DiBartolo Mayo had it. She got fouled, and Sagertown will go to the free throw line and see what they can do from there. Just three of nine tonight for Rachel from the free throw line, a line right. Good. Our first points here in the fourth period. Yeah, two minutes and three seconds into it. Two dribbles by Rachel. It is up and it is on the rim and drop down. She'll take a 30-27. Here comes Sagertown again. Boy, they came or just let them keep hanging around and around and around. And you know what happens a lot of times then? Way out front to Taylor. Taylor right of the circle, left of the circle to Amanda Taylor. Threw the ball out front, threw it across that zone, stolen away. And they're going to get a jump ball in midcourt. Sagertown's basketball. Wolfram down there. Brianna Babs down there. And also, it was uh, Codwell, Codwell for Sagertown. Also, I thought she had the steal. Inbound pass into Devar Polomeo. She threw the ball away. Wow. What was she doing? Way over the hands of Tomacek, corner left. And the opportunity goes by the wayside one more time. Wow. Tomacek just stunned. Who's the coach? Taylor to the top of the key. Goes right of the circle. Dishes to Brianna, corner right. She'll dump the ball back out. Front on the bounce. Over to Amanda Taylor. To Taylor Babb. 
to Brianna Bev. Takes that three. No good short. Off of the iron and out of bounds it goes. Sager Towns ball. 5.15 to go on this one. Both teams with five team fouls. Sager Town trying to pick up their seventh win in the region. Cambridge Springs looking for number four and Sager Town looking for that 11th victory and Cambridge trying to get into double figures. And in underneath to drive, lay it up, good in. Fouled her, was she fouled on the floor before that? DeBartolo Mayo got it. I think she may have been fouled on the floor. Ball is out of bounds, no basket. No basket. Stop on the clock at 5.03, but the Lady Panthers will get the ball back. They are down by three. Out goes Amanda Taylor, and coming in for Cambridge Springs is Nicole Dahlbeck. And we're going to get five seconds. Didn't get the ball in, and another costly turnover by Sagertown. Unbelievable. They get the ball back, they turn it right back over. Second time they've done that tonight. Yep. But still plenty of time to go on this one. Five minutes when a three-point ball game and a timeout by Cambridge Springs. Let's pause for a 60-second timeout on Cool and Armstrong. Cambridge Springs 30, Sagertown 25. Four minutes, 58 seconds to go in this one, at least in regulation. Cambridge Springs has led the entire game. They have the ball out of bounds at midcourt, leading it 30-27. As I said before, Sagertown, they just keep sticking around and around. Out front, it is Taylor Babb on the bounce. And then Taylor will get the ball back again. You know, it looks like Cambridge Springs is pulling back. Back to Brianna. Maybe the coach is going to take a little air out of the ball. Right now, it looks like almost four corner. Yep, you can't get ready. But you're only up by three, Gary. You can't do yeah, this too right long. <laughs> you end up turning it over. Four and a half minutes in this game. Yep, there. Cool. Tall, Mayo tried for the steal, didn't get it down to the baseline. Wolfram shuts on the rim from 10 and no good. Out of bounds. Sager Towns ball down by three. Back in is coming number three. Number 22, Kapanik. With those fouls on her, she is back in. Tomacek is out, and here comes Hanley to the forecourt. Panthers down by just three. De Bartolomeo into the paint to Catholic, puts it up on the rim. It's no good. Rebound, it's by Sagertown. Shot, De Bartolomeo, no go, but foul. Well, She'll go to the free throw line for the 12th time tonight. Seven fouls. One-on-one -on -one situation coming up for DeVortolomeo. Line right, the charity tosses up and on the run out. Oh, they need all of these. Wow. One more for Rachel. Charity toss. After a couple of dribbles, the little dip up and on the run in. She split the pair at least, got him within two. All right. Cambridge needs to counter right here. It's been a while since they have scored. 30, 28, four minutes to go in this one here. In underneath, short jumpers up good down there by Zillhaver. That's the first time they've scored here in the fourth period. Hanley out front, four point lead now for Cambridge Springs. DeBartolomeo down into the left corner, back out front to get open three. Hanley on the rim and off, rebound Zillhaver. Setting on a 32-28 lead. Three and a half minutes to go tonight from the spa. Cambridge brings here on Cool and Armstrong. Taylor Babb gets the ball over to the right side. Back to the high post of Wilfram. Back out to the top of the key. Taylor to Brianna. To Dahlbeck. Right of the circle into Wolfram. Back out front again. Moving that ball around the perimeter. Dahlbeck. Gans the ball off, almost traveled there. And then we're going to get Cambridge. ball out of bounds. Cambridge Springs ball, I think. Yes, it is. 3.03 remaining. It's a four-point lead. Codwell comes out. Back in Shuey. Ball comes in. Two. Cambridge brings out to the top of the key. Brianna is going to drive into the paint, pull up to all footers. Oh, no good again. Rebound is loose, still loose on the court. Picked up by the Devils. Then finally coming away with it. Out there was Delbeck. Now down low. Wolfram oh. tried to go up. She gets fouled. One of her own players falls on top of her. 
and she is setting on the floor. They're going to help her up. I think she's going to be okay. She went sort of wow. hard to the deck, and then Zillior ended up on top of her. She's going to go to the free throw line. Will Wolfram, tonight's ball game, one of two from the free throw line. She has seven points, line left. Free throw is that high rainbow shot, no good. She'll try to redeem herself on this one here. 32-28 Cambridge. They have never trailed after jumping out to an 11-1 lead. No good again. Rebound and falling down. The foul is being called. As the ball was brought down by Seiple, and then she got fouled. Uh-oh, Wolfer's going out with her fifth foul, Chuck. Well, that takes the height out of there for Cambridge Springs. Wow, she's 5'11". That's a huge fact. See if that means anything with 2.42 to go. That'll be the team's eighth foul. She'll end up with seven points and 103 from the free throw line. So the Lady Panthers are now back to the foul line, down by four. Still plenty of time to go. Oh, absolutely. Free throw is up and no good again. Rebound taken away by Cambridge Springs and another golden opportunity by the board for Sagertown. And now we're going to get another turnover. Traveling done by wow. Cambridge Springs. Can you give the game away? I mean, it's just like back and forth. Every team with so many opportunities. Panic will inbound. There's a push off. Another foul, number nine. That brought the coach off the bench. So at the free throw line, D. Bartolomeo. This one is far from being over, folks. Got to make these shots. It is up, and it is good. Be at the line for one more. That's point number 13 for D. Bartolomeo, making it 32 29. She'll get the second end of the one and one. This one is in the air and short. Rebound Zillhaver. And the ball's knocked away. Loose. Picked up though. Double team trap. Having trouble, but she gets out of that trap. Good job. Now trapped in the backcourt is Taylor. Babs and a and it's turned over. Wow. Oh, look at the official out on the court, not happy. Coach wow. Rick furious. Oh. Bigger Downs ball. Inbound and Kapanek. Bounces that ball in and tipped out of bounds. Three-point ball game once again. Bigger Town got to get that ball in two times, Chuck Davis. Kapanek to inbound. Right Nobody to throw it to. But finally, somebody cuts out. That's Shuey to get it. Lob the ball off to Hanley. Back to the top of the key to Shuey. Back to Kapanek again. DeBartolomeo has the ball paint, kicks the ball back out. Kapanek, three top of the key, is short. A rebound is brought away by Dahlpack, and then a holding foul against Sagertown. 2.02 to go. Nice look at the hole that time by Kapanek. Come up a little short on the three-point attempt. Boy, they tried to work it around. Finally, somebody was open, couldn't hit the hoop. Back to the foul line go the Lady Blue Devils. Sagertown has yet to get a field goal in this period. It has been all free throws. Where they have cashed in on five of eight. Dahlbeck's charity toss is no good. The Oratoro Mail pulls it down. Both teams missing crucial foul shots here in this period. Cambridge has missed all their three. Less than two minutes left. Lob it down to Debar Tolomeo. Turn around, bang shot. Oh, and it's no good. Another foul. She's getting up for two free throws with a free throw line. That's the tenth team foul. Timeout has been taken, I believe, by the Lady Blue Devils. Okay. We come back. Debar Tolomeo will be at the free throw line for 16th team tonight. We'll take a 60-second timeout. 32-29, Cambridge Springs right back in a moment. Debar Tolomeo at the free throw line. Charity toss up. That thing is short. Now she'll go to the line for the 17th time tonight. They need every one of these shots. She sent only seven of them. See if she can cash in on this one and make it a two-point ball game. No good again. Unbelievable. Wow. Rebound, Cambridge Springs. 
Sigurdsson could have wrapped this thing up just from the free throw line. None of they missed. Down low, Zillinger is gone. She drives, lays it up, no good. Rebounded by Sagertown. Here comes Seipel to Hanley. Back over to Shuey. Shuey pops that three. No good right of the circle. Rebound taken away by Dahlbeck. 1.20 to go in the game. Taylor Babs into the forecourt. She's double teamed. And we're going to get what? Another timeout called by Cambridge. No, timeout Cambridge brings. 30-second timeout. Timeout on cool with a score remaining. Cambridge brings 32. Sagertown 29 back in 30. Well, the excitement continues here at Cambridge Springs and Cool 101.7 and Armstrong. 117 to go in the game. Cambridge Springs with the lead in the basketball. Dahl back. To Zillaver. To the top of the key to Brianna. To the right side. Back out front to Brianna. Man-to-man defense. Right now by Sagertown. Zillaver has got it down low. The ball's lost away. Finally, they pick it up down here at the left baseline, back out front, under a minute to go. Three-point ball game. Get out of here with a three-point victory. And they got to start fouling here before long. It's, it's still a one-possession ball game. There's your foul call against Shuey. Brianna Babb to the strike. 42 seconds left. So, we're... Brianna Babb at the free throw line. She is six in the ball game. Puts it up and on the rim, and it didn't drop. Rebound over the back foul on the push-off. That'll go against. Push-off, Sager Town. It's going against Cambridge Springs, one and one. Wow, that'll be their 11th. Foul is called on Zillhaver. Her fourth. So back to the foul line. Don't panic to the free throw line. What has she been doing from the free throw line tonight? Three or four, so she's one of the better ones to be there. She could make this a one-point ball game. Uh, they need it. 41.9 seconds to go. Nice crowd in here tonight at Cambridge Springs for this girls' confrontation. Good. Don't forget this will be played back Saturday at 5.30 and again Sunday at 3 o'clock. Armstrong cable. Once again, no field goals by Sagertown in this period. All free throws. One point game as she knocks it in. 32-31. We're going down to the wire. Full court pressure. Get the ball into the four court to Dahlbeck. Dahlbeck at midcourt. Dahlbeck is pushed off by Hanley. Now they got to hit their free throws. 33 seconds left on the clock. Back to the foul line go the Lady Blue Devils up with a one-point lead. Seven of 12 free throws just in this period by Sagertown. Free throw is up, and it is good. 33-31. Dahlbeck is now one of two from the free throw line. Her first point of the night. She's in the scoreboard. This for a... Three-point lead, line left. It is up, and it is off the rim. Rebound to DiBartolomeo. And then a steal with a driving layup over the rim and off by Brianna Babb. But a foul. No out of bounds. Sigertown's ball. Wow. Timeout, Sigertown. 60-second timeout on Cool and Armstrong. 33-31, Cambridge Springs. More in a moment. Yeah, the barn burner continues from Cambridge Springs. 33-31, Sagertown with the ball and trailing. Plenty of time. Hanley has the ball knocked away by Brianna Babb and out of bounds right here in front of the cool sports team table. Inbounding is Kapanik. Into Shuey. Shuey to the forecourt. Shuey almost lost the ball. Hanley gets it. Sends a long three. Goal! Oh! Gets in and out and rebounded Cambridge Springs. That could be it. And then a tie up as Shuey ties up. Sagerton gets the ball back. Brianna Babb throws her to the deck. Tie up possession. Sagerton, do you believe that? Wow. Another chance to tie this game or win it. Got panic to throw it in, but first of all, we're going to have yet another timeout by Cambridge Springs. And it is going to be a timeout on Cool and Armstrong. 
Stay tuned. 10.4 seconds to go. It's a 33-31 lead by Cambridge. Brings over Sagertown back to this ball. We'll just take a 30-second pause. <laughs> Right back here, the two teams around their respective coaches. Of course, for Cambridge Springs, it is Rich Grubbs. And for the Sagertown Panthers, it's Steve Scott. What a battle it's been. Cambridge has never trailed in this ballgame after an 11-1 run to start the ballgame off. Then they were up 15-5. They led 17 21-17 at the end of the half. Going to this period, they're up 30-25. Sagertown now with a chance to tie, maybe win it. In underneath and lay it up and in. Inbound pass comes right in underneath the disciple. We are tied up. Four seconds to go down the court. Zillhaver trying to put blocked away. We have overtime. Overtime. Unbelievable. I thought Zillhaver might have a chance to put it in. It got blocked away, and we are going to an overtime. Was there a foul committed, though? I don't know. They're talking about it. On the clock has run out. We're tied at 33, but... No, nope. official over there said, no way, we got overtime. All right. Wow. Let's take a timeout on cool. We are ready for... Another overtime on call. <laughs> We're all tied up at 33, and we'll be back with the overtime after this time.